Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. I'm out at the range here today with heavy metal with, I say it a lot, but it's true, one of my favorite rifles. Now, every time I put this rifle in a video, everybody's drooling over it. And I'm normally comparing this rifle to another one. But as many of y'all want me to bring this rifle out all the time, I figured we'd do one dedicated video, even though I don't normally do that type of thing on this rifle. But what this is specifically, some of you already know just from looking at it, this is a Winchester Model 94. Let me give you an up close look. Winchester Model 94 lever action. And this one is chambered in 3030 Winchester. You can get the 94 in a couple different calibers. This one is a 3030. Now, some of you experts, uh, slash enthusiasts, slash crazy people, uh, can tell how old this one is just from looking at it. I think this one is from somewhere in the 70s or 80s, just because I know a little bit of the story about it. But, love this thing. It's shown up in a ton of videos, and we're just going to have some fun shooting it today. We got a couple different types of ammo. We got some uh, 170 grain core locked. Every time I talk about 3030, everybody says, "Oh, you got to shoot the core locked." And then I got some of this uh, 150 grain Hornady American Whitetail. But we got some fun targets out here. We're going to do. We're going to shoot some steel and just have some fun and see what we think about this 3030. But before we get to doing that. I'm gonna give you another look at that wood just because it's awesome. If you go to buy one today with this kind of quality of wood, it's gonna cost you an arm and a leg. A 30-30, the most popular are the 94s, and then uh, I think Marlins is the 336. These Winchesters have the top eject, so it makes it a little bit harder to have a scope. So, but let's load this thing up, have a little bit of fun, and see what we think about it. But bringing out this old 94 30 30 so you guys can get a little bit better look and we can have some fun shooting it but let's load it up and see what we think about it see if we can hit something i'm gonna load it up first with these hornadies i don't even know how many it holds i'm gonna grab four quick but if you never seen anything like it which some of you may not have the side loader right you just keep loading them in there just like that and like I said I forgot how many this holds there's four I think it'll hold at least one more well there's five let's see if it'll hold another one just so we know the max it'll hold six See if it holds seven. Yeah, it holds seven in there, if I counted those right, so not bad. Seven rounds, that's more than most of your 30 caliber bolt actions will hold, but let's uh let's get on some steel out here first and have a little bit of fun and see what we think about it. Alright now, it's hot out today, so I come back here under the shade, but real quick, show you a little bit closer, show you the sights on this. It's got that hood on the front and then this one you know I couldn't tell you about all of them but this one actually has a trigger safety or not a trigger but a, a what would you call that a grip safety I guess or lever safety maybe better term where it won't fire see that little bitty pin there it won't fire unless you're pulling that squeezing that lever up then you can squeeze the trigger but uh let's uh see if we can hit some steel out here you can see we got tons of targets out here uh, I'm going to shoot that big yellow one first. Right there in the center. All our rifle targets are up here. I'm going to shoot that big one in the center first. I loaded up seven rounds. I wouldn't think this would hold seven rounds. But you can hear that good. Yeah. Let's, uh, let me zoom y'all in so you can see better what I'm shooting at. All right, 
right, let me see if I can hit that uh, real bright circle gong at 40 yards. Oh, yeah. The 30 30 is no joke. Nah, it is hard. Now, I'm going to go for that orange silhouette on the left. That's a primo target. I'm going to hit the circle one to the right of it. That's another primo target. Smacked them. Those are at 55 yards. We just hit those again. Got them. Whew. Shooting at those seven rounds. That barrel gets hot. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, I'm no expert shooter, but you can see there, just with those iron sights and this 50-year-old rifle, it's dead on and runs real good, no problems. But you don't see the old ones in this good a condition every day. If you do, pick one up. But I'd like to film a, a whitetail hunt with this rifle. I think that'd be really cool to take a right tail with this old rifle, but let's uh let's set up some fun targets. I'm gonna load up that core locked ammo. What I do with it? We got some pineapple, watermelon, cantaloupe, some silly stuff up there on the hill. Let's see if we can get some slow motion footage. See what a a 30 30 will do to it. But let's go set that stuff up. All right, now let's see if I uh can hit these targets up here without shooting my camera up there. That's at about 20 yards. Oh wow. Awesome. I'm going to have to go uh, move the camera because my cantaloupe ran down the hill. Alright, I'm out of breath now for moving that cantaloupe. But let's see if I can hit this cantaloupe while I'm out of breath. Blew the top off. Let's hit it again. At least try to. I really like that 30-30. Well, I was talking to Paul and I said there might be something up here worth taking a bite out of. So, let's see if there's anything left. I really like pineapple, so. That'd be a shame to waste any pineapple if there's some up here. Now that watermelon, you saw in the video that watermelon got blown to pieces. There's some of that cantaloupe there. I guess we could take a bite of that. I don't see any bugs on it yet. Yeah, there's still some left of that. Cantaloupe's kind of warm. It's not as good when it's warm. No. That's better when it's in the fridge, but it's still all right. I think we must have hit that uh, hit that pineapple real square. I don't even see a piece of it. Well, we'll have to go back and look at the slow motion. Oh no, there's a piece of pineapple. It's face down in the dirt, though. Oh! Yeah, uh... So, there's the pineapple in the dirt, of course. But... I think there's a little piece right there in the middle I can take a bite out of and not get dirt in my mouth. It's still kind of good. It's got a lot of nasty stuff on it, though. It's only like the core that survived, really. You don't want really to eat the core. 
got some on the skin. But, yeah, it's better to eat your fruit before you shoot it. Thanks for coming along and checking out this 3030 with me today, guys. I'll tell you what, this thing is a blast to shoot. You can see there, it's real easy to get on target with those iron sights. Action is just as smooth as any other le uh, lever action I've ever worked. Thing ran great. Shot those 150 grainers, 170 grainers. You can see there on that watermelon, pineapple and everything. Uh, yeah, 3030's got some power. That would definitely drop a deer or uh, what have you. I've actually had quite a few people tell me they elk hunt and moose hunt with the 3030. So if you can hit them, it'll drop them. But appreciate y'all watching. Let me know what you think about this Winchester Model 94 3030. I tell you what, I absolutely love it. Let me know in the comments if you want to see us take this thing hunting this deer season. We'll see if we can get that done too. But as always, appreciate y'all big time. A big shout out and a big thanks to the Heavy Metal channel. You guys go check them out and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hootie Hoo channel if you haven't already. We'll see you on the next one. Hootie Hoo!